Airlines are bleeding money, and it's probably not going to stop anytime soon. The International Air Transport Association is forecasting that airlines will lose nearly $52 billion this year. That updated outlook is more than previously forecast. The group also expects airlines to lose $11.5 billion next year before finally returning to profitability in 2023. Last year was also worse than originally thought. The new report updates losses from 2020 higher to nearly $138 billion. That happened during the same year. The federal government spent $25 billion bailing out airlines impacted by the pandemic. And Southwest Airlines is joining the list of air carriers and mandating the COVID-19 vaccine for employees. The airline says it, quote, determined the carrier's counter contracts with the U.S. government require full compliance with the federal vaccination directive, end quote. Southwest is giving employees until December 8th to be fully vaccinated. Southwest joins United Airlines, American Airlines, JetBlue, and Alaska Airlines in complying with the Biden administration's order. Delta Airlines is now the last of the major carriers to not require employee vaccinations. Despite strong demand, new car sales are dropping. Experts blaming the ongoing computer chip shortage and other supply chain issues. And today's Consumer Watch, Jen Sullivan has a closer look, including when prices may return to normal. Declining new car sales in the U.S., the auto industry reporting a drop over the last three months despite massive customer demand. So right now, dealers have very few new cars on the lot, and you can see that by driving by any dealer lot. There's cars up front in the front row, but nothing behind it. Automakers like GM and Fiat Chrysler are reporting a drop in new car sales, with all pointing to semiconductor supply chain disruptions and low inventory as the problem. The auto industry has been dealing with a shortage of computer chips needed to build cars for more than a year. We are waiting for China to get those materials because we may have the companies based here in the USA, but they're building those chips in China and we're getting about 80% of our need. The demand is very high. And that's creating a domino effect impacting consumers' wallets, starting with chip shortages and supply chain disruptions impacting inventory at car dealerships. And then that shortage of cars leading to record high prices for new cars, which then sidelines potential car buyers who are priced out of the market. One expert says relief from those high prices could still be several months away. Now, we're worried right now that it looks like 2022 or even as late as 2023 before we can get back up to production. So until that time, expect that new cars are going to be difficult to access. For today's Consumer Watch, I'm Jen Sullivan. Now shifting to our entertainment headlines this morning, some 60,000 film and television.